many ways to hide inflation. Like this package of biscuits, for example. The price is still 1 peso 77, but look closely. You'll see the package is 25% smaller than two years ago, the equivalent of four biscuits less. Masking inflation is what Argentina's government is also apparently trying to do, amid serious allegations that it blatantly tampered with official price index figures. The consumers, the entrepreneurs, and the public sector, everybody is somehow affected by these figures and they have to be taken seriously. They cannot be accommodated to the needs of the government, otherwise they lose all credibility. And Argentina's commerce minister is under investigation, accused of ordering the National Statistics Office to dramatically alter inflation figures in order to favor the government in this election year. The government claims overall inflation is less than 10%. Trouble is, no one believes it, especially the consumer. In todo, señora. Es una inflación encubierta. The price of absolutely everything has doubled. A year ago, this cost exactly half of what it cost me today. Argentina is still trying to recover investor confidence after its world record debt default in 2002. On the surface, its economy is stellar. 8% sustained growth in the last four years. Construction soaring exports too. But the specter of inflation is again showing its ugly face and Argentines are understandably worried. They remember all too well the period when hyperinflation reached 10,000 percent. Another near world record. Clothing has skyrocketed. Rents are up 60 percent. Private schools 20 percent. Government price controls to try to contain inflation have not worked and instead have led to shortages of key consumer goods. Inflation always affects the lower income groups most because they use more than 60% of their salaries for food and that's what's gone up most. Critics say the government must incentivate production, release price and currency controls and allow the market to stabilize or Argentina's latest economic miracle could turn into yet another Argentine economic nightmare. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.